patch. I'm in the black eyed pea patch. And I've been noticing some of the leaves kind of curling up. I don't know if it's a type of blight. I'm going to come and spray it with some baking soda and water. See, this leaf looks really bad with it. Because I don't want it to spray it. I do see one of the little plants. Um, the vines are still growing. We've got vines going everywhere, but at the same time, got to get a handle on this because I don't want the same thing that happened with these black eyed peas to happen over here. I've got some yellowing. I'm thinking it's some type of blight that's in with my green beans and it can spread. So I'm thinking about just pulling this whole section up and maybe planting something else here. But uh, I did a treatment of Epsom salt, Epsom salt and, what was it, Epsom salt and water. And that's supposed to do something, but we'll see. Oh, but the good news is we got our first two black eyed pea beans coming down. So hopefully we'll start getting a lot more uh, seeds since since I do see those coming in. Okay, all right, y'all. All right, so we've got our okra, our, our uh, broccoli coming in. I went ahead and cut off the tops. They were pretty big. The crowns were big enough. And now we've got the side shoot crowns coming in. So hopefully that'll keep us in some uh, broccoli heads, these side shoots. Hey y'all, so my bok choy and turnip green bean is doing really good. We've got bok choy coming in on this side. And on this side, we actually, I think, found some turnip green seeds finally. So they are doing well over here in the shade.